Hi there, Scorpio. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your reading for September 25th through September or October 1st. This is a weekly reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. <laughs> this is for Scorpio, September 25th through October 1st. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds of thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you before I turn the camera on. If you do like and want to subscribe, you hit the subscribe button. If you want to get notifications every time I upload a video, you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. Again, this may or may not resonate. This does apply to your moon or rising sign as well as your sun sign. Okay, just going to zoom that in real quick. That looks pretty good. Alright, so in the center of the reading is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, that is the basis of your reading for this week. That is the raw truth handed to you from God, your higher power, the universe. That's the raw truth, something that probably hurts. That's the center of your reading. It look, Right next to it is the Ten of Swords. This is an ending, a completion. It looks like something is going to end or has ended that um, it, something is over with, okay? It has to do with some kind of conflicts or some kind of tension, so it's probably a good thing that it ended because it looks like you're moving forward in the right direction. Something ended, it probably hurt caused a lot of tension or maybe some anxiety and you're moving forward it's caused some depression that's for sure um, I think that this week you're starting to feel grateful again grateful for all that you have probably feeling um, you know um, happy you know because we have the Sun card looks like you're feeling happy this week in general you're feeling grateful and happy for all that you have I think your kind, loving, nurturing nature shows, and um, you know, it, you just are being yourself, um, very loving and caring. Um, we do have uh, the shadow side here, which is the devil card. So there, you know, there could be some addictions, there could be some obsessions, or some manipulation there with that devil card and maybe you have some desires there could be there even you know these are desires this is usually a sexual desire that's the knight of wands that is usually a sexual energy it's kind of like lust you know so it looks like there's some desires this week but there's tension with those desires so I don't know what that is or how that applies to you but somehow it does we do have the magician right there that lets me know that you have all the tools for success okay you do you will succeed in whatever you put your mind to you do not quit you are not a quitter okay so I do see success here I see you mastering your emotions um, after this time of hardship after this time of disappointment I see that you are starting to master your emotions you are absolutely moving in the right direction towards a feel, feeling of gratitude away from despair I think that you're just changing your your path, your course, where I think the last couple weeks may have been maybe a little depressing or sad, and you're starting to, your energy is chart, cha ugh, starting to shift, okay? Perhaps some responsibilities are going away, or you're thinking about getting rid of them, because this is some burdens. Maybe you have dro got lost some burdens, or, you know, you're still carrying them, and this is the week you finally decide to go burn the stack and finally get rid of them forever. 
I mean, you're you can you can free yourself from whatever this burden is at any time. With the devil card, the devil is a false imprisonment. Okay, so whatever you're carrying around on your shoulders, that's you don't need to carry it. You don't. You can let that go whenever you want. But, you know, some of you have already let this go because I see that you're feeling very grateful. All right, and you're moving forward. And you're be, you, there's a lot of happiness here. So there's there is a, an ending, but right after the ending is happiness. Okay, so probably some tension, some tension that you are carrying around with you, you may be letting go, and that makes you happy to let that go. Here is uh, feeling like you were on thin ice, feeling like you were you were feeling insecure regarding a situation, um, and maybe I think that was with your emotions, okay? Because I think you were having some deep, deep, deep emotions for the last couple weeks, but I think that now you're starting to move out of them. I think that's where where this slow moving night is, and that's why he's right at the beginning because, you know, things were just kind of like. You were stuck in a spot of depression, okay? And you were feeling like you were just stuck there for a while, like maybe you were in a mini nightmare or something, you know? Like you just stuck in a spot that you couldn't get out of, and I think that now you're... And it's not like you were stuck on purpose or anything, but I think there was some depression or, or some sadness that you had to get through and now you're finally there I think you're finally really getting past that point okay there's be definitely been some disappointment in the in the last few weeks The High Priestess, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles, same card, and Judgment, okay. So this is a breakthrough, okay. When you get the Judgment card, it's a breakthrough. All right, it's when things you finally get an awakening of some sort. This can also mean that someone from the other side is trying to come through. The judgment card can mean that somebody from the other side is trying to tell you something. Are you listening? Just pay attention. Or look for signs, okay? You have the Ace of Wands and you have the Ace of Cups. These are both new opportunities, okay? They're raw opportunities handed to you from above, okay? You know, whoever's trying to come to you from the other side, they could be trying to come through your thoughts or they th could be trying to come through your dreams with the Ace of Cups. So really pay attention to your dreams, okay? You also have, maybe you have a resurgence of a relationship with this Ace of Cups. It looks like, you know, there's a lot of love here and there is a lot of lust. So, and there's a lot of excitement. So it looks like this week is a very happy week where the, the few weeks before were probably more depressing and stressful and sad and there was disappointments and maybe you know some um, anxiety okay but I think these now that that things are starting to to look up in a very very good way okay so your intuition is dead on with the high priestess dead on okay so you are completely aware. You have this awareness about you with the magician and the high priestess, and especially with them right next to each other. You know things, okay? You feel deeply for people. I think that you are very, very intuitive, all right? And, and, that, and so when you do get depressed, it's not, or when something hurts you, you don't get over it that easily because you feel so strongly. So this week, I think you're starting to push through the hurt and you're coming to a better spot where you're starting to think more positive again okay you're acting in love and you're acting in with confidence and courage and excitement and I see that you have new beginnings here alright um, or new resurgences of relationship relationships um, we also have um,
the Knight of Coins twice. The Knight of Coins generally doesn't move very fast. It's usually slow and steady, but they do not quit, and I've already mentioned that to you. You're not a quitter. You know. You know that um, things come in time. So I think that you go with the flow very, very well, and I think that's what you've been doing. You've just been working on your emotions, and this week, I think, I think you are, is a very positive week. I see that you're focusing your energy from negative to positive. This is where you change your focus, negative to positive, okay? You're definitely focusing in a different direction, and that's your breakthrough. That's your awakening, and it could be, it's definitely a gift from above, okay? Now I'm going to get you some of these angel romance cards and see what comes up. See if we can get some love out of these. Woo, they're falling out. So we're going to go with them. Attraction. Religious factors. Playfulness. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This card says... That you are on the right path. You are doing the right thing. You are leaving, letting the past go from behind. The, the last few weeks or whatever year or whatever it's been that has been depressing you. That has been keeping you, you know, it's been very heavy for you to carry around. Whatever's been the disappointments. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You are changing from this energy to now living in the now religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path i don't know how that resonates for you that card always confuses me i'm sure that you can figure it out how it applies to you playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine perhaps you lost some of your playfulness with all this depression or disappointments or whatever it was that has happened that that has brought you down you need to regain that playfulness and maybe you already have and that's why this card came out but if you haven't look for it because it will raise your vibration it will continuously add to the positive effects okay it brings more positiveness into your life to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine Where's your playfulness anyway? Where, what, what, what did you act like when you were 18 or 20 or 24 or 26? That's playfulness. And if you're that age now, then you probably still have it. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love. Live in the now. Whatever's been depressing you, live in the now and express your love today. Today. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That resonates somehow with you. If you need positive reinforcement at any time or if you just need a hug, let your friends help you. This is a good one. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. I know that you've been hurt. I can see that and you're carrying it with you. But it is safe for you to love, again, everybody, not just your partner. It is safe for you to love in general. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You don't have to protect your heart forever. You can. You can let the love in. We're going to get one of these whispers of love for you. I know you've been through some hurt, I can tell. 
but I think you're changing. You're you're coming out of that, and you're thinking more positive, and I think you're living more in the now, and things are very good this week. I think there's a lot of happiness, all right, because you're, you've, like, switched it. Listen with your heart. Well, I don't know where my book is. I found it. Open your heart back up. I know you've been through some tough times. It's time to open it back up. Let your guard down. Let people help you. Listen with your heart. That's number one. You are listening to what is being said to you. But you need to listen with a loving heart. The opportunity is here for you to try a loving perspective to the situation. It is easy to get wrapped up in the words that are being said. What does your heart say about the situation? It knows the truth. Trust that. Sit still, take a deep breath, and ask your heart what you need to know. That's good advice. So Scorpio, that's what I have. I'll let you go. Talk to you later.